Hey guys, welcome back to Hawk Talk. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a post reaction for the Seahawks firing defensive coordinator and def defensive passing game coordinator, Ken Norton Jr. Um, this happened, uh, I think, probably a week ago. So um, I'm going to talk to you guys about why this happened and what the Seahawks should do next. So, um, yeah, as most of you guys know, the Seahawks have fired defensive coordinator Ken Norton Jr., um, as well as their defensive passing game coordinator. So I think mostly why this happened was um, because of, I think, the beginning part of this season and last season, um, most of last season, I would say, because as we have seen, the first half of the Seahawks year hasn't been too pretty defensively. Um, this year, it was the Steelers game, which they made the a switch or something happened. And then since that on, they've been starting to play really well defensively, which was, I think, like, um, man, I think that was like week six or seven, which is like pretty much halfway into the season almost. So, yeah, I think I think the reason for this fire was just because, um, you know, they wanted to get defense off to a good start right away. And I think also it might have been that the schemes that Ken Norton was using um, – just wasn't working out for the defensive guys um, and stuff like that because I mean I know this is probably contrary to a lot of people's opinions but I actually don't think Ken Norton did half bad um, these last I mean this year especially uh, like if you look after the Steelers game the defense has been the strong point of the Seahawks team so I actually for once I don't agree with the Seahawks call necessarily um, obviously I understand why they did it and I understand like what the reason behind it was, but I personally would have given it, um, maybe one more year and I would have seen if this continued and if it did, then I would have, um, done the same, but yeah. So, I mean, what happened happened, I guess, but I think, I think the Seahawks just wanted like a restart, um, because, you know, the season, let's be frank, it wasn't what anyone expected, honestly. Um, I don't think it's even what the Seahawks players uh, expected. No one expected it to go seven and 10, miss the playoffs. Um, you could blame as much as that as you want on the NFC West being a tough division, but you have to keep in mind that, um, you know, we beat the, we beat the uh, 49ers twice, both times we played them. And, uh, we split the games with the Cardinals. We did, we did get swept by the Rams, but other than that, we did pretty well in division, actually. So I think it was just the team. I think the the weak point of this team this year was the offense. Um, that might have just been Shane Waldron's new scheme. The guys have to get used to it or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I think, it was, I think it was mostly the offensive fault this year. So we'll have to see what the Seahawks do moving forward. But um, so now... I'm just going to talk to you guys about what I think should happen next. So Ken Norton Jr. has been fired. What's next? So what I think the Seahawks should do next um, is, first of all, obviously we need a new defensive coordinator. And I think the best person for that job would be, would be former Falcons head coach. Um, I mean, sorry, I'm former Dolphins head coach, uh, Brian Flores. So I know this is probably the most unlikely scenario to happen out of all the possible options for defensive coordinator for the Seahawks. But I think if the Seahawks can like make something happen, you know, make a super good deal happen, I think this would be an absolute great pickup and a great deal with Ryan Flores because let's be honest, in Miami, the only reason they won games was because of their defense. Their defense was, at, was very, very underrated, I would say. For what they had to work with, they did very well, I think. Um, Brian Flores especially is a defensive first head coach, um, which also is relatable to Pete Carroll because he, um, you know, he wants the defense to go first and then offense, you know, run the ball, don't turn the ball over. That's always been his thing. So uh, this is unlikely because, like I said, uh, Brian Flores has been getting head coach offers for a lot of different teams and a lot of GM, like, you know, he's been getting a lot of 
better offers, I guess you could say, for him. But if the Seahawks can somehow manage this, I think it would be great. And the Seahawks defense could really benefit, especially young guys like um, Jamal Adams. I think Quandre Diggs could even improve. Um, Jordan Brooks, I think, could be – Jordan Brooks and Darren uh, Daryl Taylor could be the two most improved defensive players because we know that they have talent and we know they have skill. So with a good coach, I think that is um, a very likely option. So that's just what I would do. I'm not sure if the Seahawks are going to do this, but because, you know, like it's unlikely. But if it's possible, I do think this would be a great pickup. If not, I also think the Seahawks um, will find someone who is similar to Ken Norton's um, kind of scheme, you know, uh, someone who is like light, good with linebackers, um, stopping the run, and you know, bend but don't, you know, bend but don't break defense, which means giving up. You can give up the yards as long as you don't give up the points, which is what the Seahawks have been doing. I think that's all um, the Seahawks need to do, and they just need to find a coach that can fit that kind of scheme. So yeah, um, this is a pretty short video. But uh, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will have um, a championship game preview, uh, AFC and NFC championship game preview coming out this weekend, um, I don't know, probably tomorrow or this weekend before the games happen. So stay tuned for that. Um, it would be, it, those videos will be with um, probably with a couple other guys as well, like you know, Nikhil Abin Santosh. Uh, so yeah. I'll see you guys in those videos and for now go Hawks and see you guys next time.